Heart health. Our hearts are the engines of our bodies, tirelessly pumping life-sustaining blood through our veins. Yet we live in a world saturated with information, often conflicting about how to best care for this vital organ. To truly understand how to protect our hearts, we must delve deeper, moving beyond simplistic notions and confronting the complexities of cardiovascular health. What's the number one way to clean out your arteries? It's probably not what you think. Most people, including doctors and other YouTube videos, have it wrong. They overlook the complex relationship between your arteries, the plaque inside them, and what really causes heart attacks and strokes. But don't worry, we're going to break it all down. Can you even clean out your arteries? If so, how? And are these the right questions to ask? We'll explore all of this, including the insulin spiral of death, the true role of LDL, and which markers you should really be worried about. Plus, we'll dive into the truth behind popular supplements and even discuss how people in their 20s and 30s aren't immune to these risks. Stick with us, and you might just save your life. Before we get into the specifics, let's start with what plaque actually is. Picture plaque as an unwanted squatter in your arteries. It's made of cholesterol, but it's not just floating around. It embeds itself in the walls of your arteries, causing them to narrow and harden over time. Understanding plaque is crucial because you can't solve a problem you don't fully understand. Our arteries aren't like rigid pipes, they're more like flexible hoses. They can expand and contract. So, the idea that plaque just clogs them like hair in a drain isn't entirely accurate. Instead, plaque affects your arteries in more complex ways, leading to restricted blood flow and increasing your risk of heart attack or stroke. There are two major misunderstandings about plaque that everyone seems to get wrong. First, many believe that plaque blocks blood flow directly like a clogged pipe. But in reality, arteries are dynamic. They expand and contract, and plaque isn't just a simple blockage, it's part of a complex process that can lead to blood clots and inflammation. Second, the idea that you can simply clean out your arteries is misleading. Plaque doesn't get cleaned out, it gets stabilized. The real danger comes from hot or inflamed plaque which can rupture and cause a heart attack or stroke. Stable plaque, on the other hand, is much less risky. Now let's talk about the real culprits behind heart attacks and strokes. It's not just about cholesterol or clogged arteries. The real issue is inflammation. When plaque in your arteries becomes inflamed, it can rupture, spilling its contents into your bloodstream and causing a clot. If that clot blocks blood flow to your heart, it's a heart attack. If it blocks blood flow to your brain, it's a stroke. But it doesn't stop there. We also have to consider the insulin spiral of death. Insulin resistance and high blood sugar can damage your arteries long before you ever experience symptoms. This process begins in your 20s or 30s and progresses over time, leading to prediabetes, diabetes, and ultimately, heart disease. So, what should you really be asking your doctor? Here are three critical questions. 1. How can I decrease my risk of heart attack and stroke? 2. How can I find out if I have dangerous soft plaque? Three. If I do have soft plaque, how can I stabilize it? These questions are essential because they focus on prevention and early detection. To answer them, you'll need to dive into lab tests that go beyond the basics. Tests like oral glucose tolerance tests and lipid fractionation can give you a clearer picture of your health. You'll also want to check inflammation markers like C-reactive protein CRP, and enzymes like myeloperoxidase MPO, to catch any issues early. Now let's debunk some common misconceptions. Number 1. LDL is not the ultimate enemy. While LDL is linked to heart disease, it's not the root cause. The real problem is often metabolic dysfunction like insulin resistance, which can also drive up LDL levels. Number 2. Young people can have plaque, too. Don't think that just because you're in your 20s or 30s, you're safe. Plaque can start building up early, especially if you have poor metabolic health. Number 3. Avoiding sugar alone won't prevent plaque. It's not just about sugar. Other high glycemic foods like bread and pasta can spike your blood sugar and contribute to plaque buildup. Number 4. You can't reverse plaque completely. While you can stabilize plaque and reduce inflammation, reversing it entirely is not realistic. But number 5. Stress tests won't predict a heart attack. Passing a stress test doesn't mean you're free from risk. It's more about cardiovascular fitness, not necessarily the state of your arteries. Number 6. Stents don't prevent future heart attacks. While stents can be lifesavers during a heart attack, they don't necessarily prevent future ones. The same goes for coronary artery bypass grafts CABG. What about all those supplements you've heard about? Let's break them down. Apple cider vinegar. 
Despite the hype, it's more of a fad than a fix. It might help with digestion, but it won't clean out your arteries. Vitamin K2, this one's a bit more complex. While K2 is important for calcium regulation, it's not a magic bullet for pulling calcium out of your arteries. Vitamin D and niacin. Both of these can be beneficial, especially for overall health, but don't expect them to perform miracles. But what about fasting? Fasting is actually one of the most effective ways to improve your arterial health. It triggers autophagy, your body's natural process of cleaning out damaged cells, which can help reduce inflammation and stabilize plaque. Prolonged water fasting in particular has the biggest impact, but even intermittent fasting can be beneficial. When it comes to arterial health, diet plays a pivotal role. The foods we consume can either contribute to plaque buildup or help maintain clean, flexible arteries. Embracing a heart-healthy diet involves more than just avoiding certain foods, it's about making informed, balanced choices. A carnivore diet, rich in high-quality animal products, can be fundamental to promoting arterial health. These foods provide essential nutrients and are naturally low in carbohydrates, which can help reduce inflammation and support overall heart health. Meats like beef, lamb and fatty cuts of pork are particularly beneficial due to their rich nutrient profiles including essential vitamins, minerals, and healthy fats. These foods help maintain muscle mass, support metabolic health, and keep arteries in optimal condition. Contrary to common belief, saturated fats found in animal products are not the enemy. When consumed as part of a balanced carnivore diet, these fats can support healthy cholesterol levels and do not necessarily contribute to plaque buildup as previously thought. Another important aspect of the carnivore diet is the approach to salt intake. Salt is not the enemy, in fact it's essential for your body. Proper salt intake helps maintain electrolyte balance, supports nerve function, and can even contribute to better cardiovascular health. The key is to salt to taste. Your body will typically signal when it needs more. Avoid highly processed foods that often contain excessive and low-quality salts, and instead, use natural, high-quality salts to enhance the flavor and nutritional value of your meals. In summary, embracing a carnivore diet focused on nutrient-dense animal products and appropriate salt intake can be a powerful approach to supporting arterial health, reducing inflammation, and promoting overall well-being. The Power of Fasting – Activating Your Body's Cleanup Crew Fasting stands out for its ability to activate the body's own cleaning mechanisms. It involves abstaining from food, prompting beneficial physiological processes. Autophagy, a cellular self-cleaning mechanism, ramps up during fasting. It clears out cellular debris, recycling usable materials. This process has profound implications for arterial health. Fasting supports arterial health from within. So, what's the bottom line? The key to arterial health isn't found in a single meal or supplement, it's about understanding your body, managing inflammation, and making long-term lifestyle changes. Focus on stabilizing your plaque, improving your metabolic health, and don't be afraid to incorporate fasting into your routine. By taking these steps, you can significantly reduce your risk of heart attack and stroke and live a longer, healthier life.